Hello everyone. Welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. My name is Brandy and I work in the marketing department. I'll be your host for today's session. I am joined by Betty, who is the coordinator of the Business Entrepreneurship and Management Program in Woodstock. Um, she is here to provide you with information and to be able to answer any of your questions you may have today around the program. Uh, Betty, if I can get you to go to the next slide for me quickly. Oh, I'm sorry, um, I'm drifting off. There we go. <laughs> I'll uh, go over a couple housekeeping items for everyone. So for all of our attendees and mics are turned off for this session. So if you have any questions, just click the question mark that's on the right hand side of your screen, type in your question, that will come to me and I will be able to gather those for a Q&A with Betty uh, after her presentation. Um, and just a bit of a reminder, if you have multiple programs open on your computer right now, uh, we do recommend closing them as it may compromise your webinar experience, but that is of course up to you. Now, once again, I'd like to introduce you to Betty, who will be speaking about the Business Entrepreneurship and Management Program in Woodstock. Over to you, Betty. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our virtual open house session. Um, I hope that I can answer all of your questions. If, uh, if uh, you do have questions afterwards, though, um, please feel free to email me. Okay, My email is up there in the top left, right. I'm not sure what view you guys have there. It's up in the top corner. You can just send me an email um, at any time if you have a question that you think about after the session is over. I have my email address there on most of the slides going through. Okay. So about BEM, BEM is short, of course, for Business Entrepreneurship and Management. It's a two-year diploma program offered out of the Woodstock Oxford Regional Campus of Fanshawe College. The program is only offered out of the Woodstock campus. Um, currently, it's not offered out of any other one. The program it is approximately 20 hours per week of scheduled classes. And even in the virtual environment, you will have scheduled classes. We find it helps students to stay on track if they know that they have that two hour time slot or three hour time slot scheduled for them. So there is about 20 hours of scheduled classes. Homework is additional, um, homework is on top of that. The homework, the amount of time it's going to take you, we typically say an hour for an hour, so an hour of class to an hour of homework, but that's going to depend on how much you know about the subject going in. When you're doing the counting class, if you've already done accounting and, and you're really, really good at it and it comes easy to you, you may not have to use that time. You may not have any homework. So, you know, it's going to depend on where your skills are and what you're bringing to the program with you. All right. um, so the level one, our, at Fanshawe, our terms or each semester, we refer to them as levels. Level one is from January until the end of April. And with Fanshawe, for the most part, all of the business diploma programs have the same level one. What this allows is if you are taking this program and when you do the introduction to marketing class, you think, wow, you know, that's what I want to do. I don't want to own my own business. I want to do marketing. You could then transfer over to the two-year marketing diploma program out of the London campus and not have to repeat level one. Uh, so they are common levels for the most part. The difference is that in Woodstock, we added an extra course. We added contemporary technologies, which we think is essential for the business environment, being able to learn or learning how to use some of the online business software, things like um, Office 365 or Google Docs, things like that. Uh, so level that's level one. Levels two through four are specific to entrepreneurship, so opening and running your own business or to working in management for someone else. When the program was developed, we went to the community, we went to local employers, we went to um, people who lived in the community and asked what type of program they thought would be the best fit 
for our region? And the answer was a clear resounding one of something for entrepreneurship and something for management, you know. So the program does both streams. <clears throat> and you get into the, both of those streams are offered throughout the entire uh, second, third, and fourth terms. Okay, so it's a little bit of both. Why BEM? Why a business entrepreneurship program? When the advisory committee was looking at, you know, the, the community and employers were looking at what was suitable for us, through the research we found that almost 98%, 98% of all the businesses in Canada are considered to be small businesses. Those are businesses with 100 or fewer employees, according to um, training and development. So 97.9, 98% of all businesses. And in Ontario, almost exactly the same number, 98% of all businesses in Ontario are considered to be small business. On top of that, almost 90% of the people who work are employed in small and medium businesses. So small, medium enterprises, SMEs, Small businesses are 100 employees or fewer. Medium businesses are 500 people or fewer. So 89.6% of all employed people work in those types of businesses, in those sizes of businesses. So this is a perfect fit for um, small communities. You know, the, the, it works really well. And it's information that you can take with you, whether you stay in the small community, whether you stay in Woodstock, Woodstock area, or whether you decide to go to another larger center, the skills that you learn here are still going to apply because as you can see, most of the businesses in Canada, they're small to medium enterprises. A little bit about the curriculum. In the first term, you get an introduction to a lot of different things. So you get a little bit of accounting, you get marketing, you get you know, business processes, all those types of things to give you a taste of what's coming. So in you get in the course, in the program, between levels one and four in that time, two year time span, you will get accounting theory on paper, how to do it on paper, and then we take you over to the computerized accounting, either QuickBooks or simply accounting. You will also get some financial management, how to read those, um, financial reports and the bit you know the balance sheets and the cash flow statements and how to talk to people at the bank that type of thing comes into play in marketing you get again the theory behind marketing and then you get digital marketing using social media for marketing you get web design you get e-business having an electro having a an online business you get uh, merchandising if you have a bricks and mortar uh, store how do you set up your merchandise to be appealing you know window displays all those types of things with the computers you get um, the web-based software as I mentioned so you will learn uh, word processing and spreadsheets and PowerPoint or presentation software. We're currently using the Microsoft Office Suite, but really it's that changes depending on what the current trend is. That's what we go with. Right now the trend is Microsoft Office or that type of software. Uh, but again, the skills you learn aren't just specific to Office. You can take those skills, use them in Google Docs, use them in other different um, web-based software, as well as learning how to use team software. On the management side of it, you learn business management, you learn financial management, which is reading those papers, you learn project management, so how to use the uh, project management software, as well as the theory behind project management, as well as retail management. In levels two and four, you do business plans. In level two, you do a full business plan and you do your first Dragon's Den. In level four, you uh, do a more in-depth business plan along with 
we use a process called the business canvas. It's for the lean startup type of business. So in level four, you use the business canvas. You see how that will feed into business plans and help you develop a, a business plan. And in level four, you do another Dragon's Den. Okay, um, so you get lots of exposure to pitching your presentation. You also learn some of the soft skills with regards to business. One of the things that we found, we did a program review a couple of years ago, and we what we heard back from the community, what we heard back from employers, was that the grads are leaving, the graduates are coming out of programs without a lot of the soft skills that are required. Things like how to communicate effectively, not only verbally, but written communication. So you get those, you learn how to network effectively, how to use networking to your advantage. It's not just about going to these events and standing there with a drink in your hand and having a sandwich. There's more to networking. Networking itself is a lot of work. Okay? We go through dining etiquette, how to conduct yourself during a business lunch or a business dinner. You know, what do you do? What do you say? How does it all work? What fork do you use? And which one is your bread, your bread plate? And you learn the art of selling, okay? Because, I mean, face it, if you're going to be owning your own business, you're selling. You're selling yourself and you're selling whatever product or service it is you have. So we, you go, you do a course on how to sell um, yourself, your business, your product. Um, and you're also out in the community. You're out in the community in several different ways, but two key ones are volunteering. One of the courses, your ethics course, it's ethics and social responsibility. Social responsibility is a direct um, link to volunteering in the community, giving back to the community. More and more organizations are doing it. You see it all the time with Tim Hortons and their smile cookies, McDonald's and Mc Ronald McDonald House. People are constantly, businesses are constantly having now to, and wanting to give back to the community to, to build that uh, rapport with their, with their um, customers. And the mentorship component is when you go out and you work side by side or you shadow in an industry that you're interested in working in. Okay? Whether you won't want to own your own small business, you know, you want to open a bakery and uh, do cupcakes, we try and get you in, you help us, but we try and have you do your mentorship in a bakery where you can learn the ropes, where you can learn the skills, the ins and outs of having that working in that type of environment, or whether you want to be in management and, you know, working in a sales department or something, we try and set you up and, and help you get set up with your mentorship in the fourth term, where you get to build those relationships and learn firsthand what it's really like to do that type of a job. The, your team of instructors, all of the instructors in the business entrepreneurship and management program work in their fields. They practice what they teach. They're small business owners, they're accountants, they work in HR, they do, they, they do selling, they, they do digital marketing. There is one of the, one of your instructors um, has his own digital marketing firm. He's actually a graduate of the program that we now hire to teach because he was so, he, he's just amazing. He um, has his own marketing company and podcasts and radio shows and just, he's just into everything. Uh, but we hire people who do what you want to do. So you can learn from them. You can learn from them from their experience, which brings me to the next point about them being content experts. That's what they are. They know what they're talking about. They have the education to back up what they what they do, and they have the experience to tell to to give to you to offer it to share it with you. 
Okay, so they, they are true content experts. They are involved in the community. They have businesses here. They are business people in the community and they volunteer. They give back to the community. They live what you want to, they, they, they do this. Um, and they have been there and they have done that. They know exactly where you are. They have been in that chair that you're currently sitting in. They have experienced what you are going to experience, learning all of this stuff and learning all of this stuff while life goes on, which makes them very approachable and very understanding. They know what you're going through. They know how tough this can be. So they're very empathetic to, to that. And my team and we are a team. We are not, you are not getting a group of individuals teaching you you are getting a team okay um and we work as a team and we are here to help you succeed and i know it sounds really really corny but when you succeed so do we and that's what we want we want to see you succeed and we will do everything we can to help you and to ensure that uh, you graduate but it's not just the graduation, it's being able to be successful in the field that you've chosen. And that's what we want to see. We want to help you and ensure that you are successful when you finish this program. Okay. And it's back over to the moderator, back over to Brandy. Perfect. Thank you so much for all that information, buddy. Um, just a reminder to our attendees, if you have a question, just hit that question mark on your screen um, and then type your question in and it will come back to me. Um, buddy, I have a question about um, kind of COVID related and how things are looking are, um, in terms of the quality of the program when it's being offered online. Uh, good question. COVID certainly has thrown a wrench into everything. We try and bring the same experience that we have in the classroom into the virtual classroom. We have, we do breakout sessions. So in, in the classroom, if you were going to do group work, you would do group work in the online environment as well. We try various things to um, engage the students in whatever it is, is being, that's being taught. So some of the instructors will bring maybe some games into it and play, you know, do some online games to get you engaged. The, um, the instructors are still there. They still run their class exactly as they did in the classroom. We have the scheduled classes. You do have a schedule. The expectation is that you will attend class during those scheduled times, just as though we were on campus. We're trying as much as possible to um, mimic the, the in-person experience. Excellent. Um, I have a question about the Woodstock campus. Um, could you talk more about what the experience of the Woodstock campus is like? Okay. Um, first of all, you need to know that in January, we will not be on campus. In January, this program will be 100% online. I do not know what it will be like in September. Sorry. No one knows what COVID is going to do or how long it's going to be around or anything like that. What I can tell you, though, is that when we are on campus, we are small but mighty. Um, it's a small campus. We have about four, three to 400 people on campus, between four and 600 students enrolled in courses, I think, in programs. Um, and when we're on campus, it's very, the students all Get, you know that they all see each other because we're so small you see all of your instructors all the time pass them in the hallway um, you know we we do things on campus we're working on student council trying to figure out how that's all going to look and how it's how it's working that is a work in progress more so than the teaching of the courses um, 
but it's a very you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and you get that the same with the in with the online with the virtual class you get one-on-one -on -one. um yeah it's just a really you know the teachers know your names when you walk past them in the hallway it's hi whoever you are it, it's not a you're not just a number absolutely so, i i i can speak to that just from a few times that i visited it's a real welcoming environment um, and I have to say I'm jealous every time I get that see that pond view uh, that the campus has. It's just the ideal Zen place uh, as I a know, student. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's gorgeous. We're, yes, we're called the Country <laughs> Club campus because we have a really nice pond with a fountain and we have some ball diamonds and soccer fields around us. We're connected to the community complex. So we have um, two hockey arenas connected to the campus that the student student council when we're on campus student council rents that so that students can go skating if they want or they can play pickup hockey we try and do as many things as an entire campus so anything that student council does is open and involves all the students on the campus if they choose to participate absolutely yeah excellent i'm just going to do one last call just to see if anyone does have any final questions um, while I'm doing that, just a reminder, of course, that you can contact Betty uh, at B-R-O-W-E uh, at fanshawc.ca. Again, I sent that out um, through the uh, chat to everyone that's attending. Um, and if you have uh, any questions about Fanshawe that's not specific to the program, you can contact myfuture at fanshawc.ca uh, or book a one-on-one -on -one appoint virtual appointment with your recruiter at fanshawc.ca slash connect. Um, and I also invite you to go to our YouTube page uh, and check out all the great Woodstock uh, material that will help, uh, help you learn more about the campus itself. I'm not seeing any other questions come in. So I just want to thank you, Betty, for all of your information and all of your time. Uh, thank you to oh, our thank attendees. You. <laughs> thank you to our yes. attendees. <laughs> we really hope that we get to see you uh, as part of the Fanshawe family in the near future. Um, and I hope everyone has a great evening and enjoys the rest of the open house. Keep an eye on your inbox for some details about Saturday's events, which focus on student life at the campus. So thank you very much, everyone, and have a good night. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Bye.